Here is one of the three nests that I needed to destroy. I should come back later. The third nest is destroyed. The Master Hunter will be relieved to hear it, I'm sure. The nests are destroyed. And with the death of the White Tenon, the attacks should cease. And we were even able to convince the missionaries to leave. Katasak should be willing to follow us now. Let's go and find him. face that you were victorious indeed i put the white tenland down who was enraging his kind and destroyed their nests the attack should no longer trouble you as for the missionaries we were able to convince them to leave although they were not willing to reveal their involvement in the attacks that caused you such harm and so they were in some way responsible i had my suspicions but i could not see their reasons they brought a particularly large beast here that attracted and enraged the others. This is what provoked the attacks and brought on our despair. These people have blood on their hands. In the end, we found the missing young ones. But alas, it was too late. Devoured by wild beasts. Undivorced tear end. You did well on Almanawi. No, they should be able to find the rest. Will you agree to accompany me now? My cousin needs your help. I have packed what is needed. I am ready to journey with you. This pain, it'll be the death of me. I can't control my body. It's like being a stranger in a marionette set ablaze, consumed by a smoldering fire. The moment's growing near, isn't it? Am I about to surrender my ghost to the Reaper of Souls? You pop in just when you're needed, cousin, as always. Uh, who are you? Your hand is cold as ice. Your cousin is burning. That is such a relief. Let me present Katisach, Constantine. He is the greatest healer on the island. He will help you. Please, stay. I am here for you, Rnaikse. And I will not leave until I found a way to ease your pain and suffering. Fill your mind with the patience of the ocean. I know not how much time I will need. I've never seen such a sickness. The spirits of your lands must be quite horrendous to cast down such evils upon the peoples that live there. Thank you. Neither science surgeon nor mage doctor could do a damn thing to alleviate my pain. I give you my last ounce of hope. Thank you, cousin. I don't want to imagine my plight without your intervention.
Greetings, Katasak. Vertir Dumat, what can I do for you? How is my cousin doing? He's filled with dread as death approaches. Forgive him his mood swings. He's such a young boy, and he had so much desire to live. Thanks to my treatment, he suffers less. But his disease is getting worse, and I don't know what to do. It would take a power far superior to mine to break the grasp of this evil. I'm looking to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann. I went all the way to the village council. But they did not let you speak to Glendan the Elder. Precisely. They said that only the friends of a member of the council might enter. And my word was not enough. It seems that I must be a mal to be heard. Do not be sad, daughter of Bladnid. One day you will be as great a chief as your mother. And you too will have a seal. This seal will allow you to give voice to the friends of your clan. Those who may speak in your name. Here, friend of Wenshavye. Take my seal and go and meet Glendan. But you must convince him and no doubt pass many trials. Many monsters and traps are hidden on the path you seek to follow. Thank you, Katasach. Why are you helping me? We do not wish to lose the one who placed his life in my hands. And you have already shown me your friendship. I hope that Glendan will allow you to meet this god, cousin. Leave as soon as you can. Godspeed. Have no fear. I'll do whatever it takes. I must go. What are we sick? I'm happy you came to find me. Allow me to apologize once again. I should have spoken to you sooner, told you what I knew, and not betrayed your trust. Indeed you should have. As I said, I'd like to make up for it and help you find your family again. How do you intend to do that? As you now know, I knew your mother. We had trouble communicating at first, of course, but we gradually learned to understand one another. She was important in her village, based on what I know today. I think she was a Donegad. She told me her name, Arelwyn, and told me about her family. She even gave me a pendant for you. You were only a child, so I gave it to Mrs. De Sade for safekeeping. She gave me a necklace when I went to say goodbye to her. She said it was a family heirloom. Did my mother tell you the name of her village? No, but I'm sure the Norts can help us. They were the ones who took your mother to the continent. It was such a long time ago. How can I find out if they remember? The Norts record everything down to the gentlest breeze. They must have written something in a logbook somewhere. So, do you want to try and find out where you come from? Do you want to find your relatives? Yes. All this is so new to me, but I suppose so, yes. Let's go then.
You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. I am in a delicate situation, and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the Guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Noughts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. I have come to talk to you about a personal matter. After what I revealed to you, I was sure you would come back to find me. What would you like to know? You told me that I was born on one of your ships, of an islander captured on the island. We'd like to know about this woman's origins. I'm afraid I can't help you. I did not take part in those expeditions, and our old archives are far from here. Is there no one on Tierfredi who can help us? Please. Very well. I do know an old captain who could perhaps help you out. Where can he be found? His ship is moored in the port of Hikmet, if I'm not mistaken. His name is Captain Lissandro. Thank you for your help, Admiral. De Sarde? Yes, Admiral? Don't get too caught up in the past. That one in particular. Nothing good will come of it. Whether or not we choose to get caught up in it, Admiral, the past always catches up with us. Sadly, I'm paying the price of this. Captain Reuben? Aye, the man himself. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Albert. A committed volunteer from Teleme. Now, she only joined us a short time ago. Did you want to know anything else? What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. Then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Well, you can understand my concern. But you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. But did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've got quite a list of errands to check off. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. 
What can I do for you? Can you tell me anything about Alba? Well, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her away. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers, we never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Your Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently, but I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition, and she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here, she suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. N no, I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. I'm afraid these little secrets have not helped us a great deal. This Alba had just enlisted. She was happy, then changed her attitude. But is she a spy? We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Say one more word. That's it. Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see how tough? Come on. You don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh. <laughs> He thinks we'll allow that to happen. On guard, sir! <coughs> On guard! Ah, Your Excellency, I'm glad to see you. It seems there has been an unexpected development. The manager of the tavern came to find me. He complained of supply problems on the island, and a customs sergeant who is seizing his shipments from the continent. 
Clearly, neither we nor the palace gave any such orders. You suspect that these seizures are being used to supply the contraband? It's the only logical answer. And you wonder if Egon is involved? Very well. I will find out. No, thank you. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Manfred, the quartermaster of the barracks, told me about your supply problems. And he sends you. Damn. I didn't think a legger would act in person, but... It's nice to see that our problems are taken seriously. I'll explain. Alcohol has been scarce in New Serene for quite some time. Our suppliers in the town are constantly victims of theft, to the point that they're no longer able to supply taverns. I could have managed if my monthly delivery from the continent had arrived as planned, but customs seized my goods. Did they give you a reason? Conservative seizure, they said. Time to check that everything is in order. And now they tell me that they can't return my goods because they've been stolen. Can you believe it? If even customs are getting robbed, what hope do we have? Huh. This is all rather suspicious. Don't worry. I'll go and see these customs officers and get this cleared up. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. How may I help you? We're looking for a young Nort. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. Oh, here you are again. More questions? Tell me what you saw. This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the Norts, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but... Maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be all, soldier. Thank you.
This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. A box under a stone. What do we do now? Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. Oh, I'm a little old for hiding in the bushes, but if that's what you want to do... We can see without being seen here. Shall we wait here? Someone is approaching. Maybe our spy. This man looks like a messenger. We should follow him and find out who gives him his orders. Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us! I... but I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Do you realize that you are suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait! I don't want to end up in jail. It's not about the secrets of the congregation. Let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the naught you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Ah, Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Nords, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral.
Customs Officer Alric. What can I do for you? Desade, I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. I've been told of some issues with customs. I would like some clarification. I'm listening, Your Excellency. I was told that a shipment from the continent bound for the tavern had been seized as a precautionary measure. Uh, yes, it's possible. We seize cargo sometimes to verify that all taxes to the town have been paid. Randomly, without a prior formal order. I... no, I, I don't know. Perhaps we received a complaint. That happens sometimes. I suppose all entries are noted in your records. Naturally. But I assure you that we only do our job. It was all routine. I was informed that Customs was robbed. Yes, these thieves have quite the nerve. Someone even stole personal belongings this time. Since then, I've put all important things in the chest. But I lost the key. Probably on my way here. Let me summarize. You have confiscated some goods, perhaps because of a report, but you're not sure. Then that same cargo was stolen from you, along with other things in your custody. Uh, exactly, Your Excellency. You are either the worst customs officer I've met, or the biggest liar. Listen, Your Excellency, I made a mistake. It's true, I, I should not have ordered this seizure. In fact, it was late, and... Um... Counting the crates would have taken me hours. I decided to postpone it. In the meantime, the goods were stolen. It's unfortunate, but I'm not useless. You haven't even informed the authorities of this robbery. This is all rather suspicious, Officer Auric. So I think it's necessary to conduct this inspection with a search. I... Please, Your Excellency. I'm sure the contents of this chest will be very informative. Maybe we should go to the docks to see if we could find the key that this scatterbrain has lost. Satisfied with your inspection, sire? Absolutely. I found this letter in your chest. The signature on it seemed very interesting. Oh, I, I was sure I'd lost the key. I will explain. But I am trapped. And it's been like this for months. I am forced to pull off all kinds of tricks in order to settle an old debt. Egon. Yes, sir. Either I do what he says, or I lose my children. I've already paid off my debt a hundredfold, but he maintains his hold over me. And now I have no choice but to obey when he asks me to divert larger shares of cargo. Could you help me identify him? I'd like to, but I've never met him. He gives me his instructions in writing, or sends his men. He wrote the letter you found. Or at least I think he did. I plan to put an end to this individual's activities. So anything you can tell me will be useful. I hope you manage it, Your Excellency. For the sake of my children. Maybe you could come to the meeting he's arranged tonight. Do you think he will come in person? I don't know. This is the first time I've received a notice like this. I fear he'll punish me for arousing the innkeeper's suspicions. He doesn't let anything get past him, you know. Very well, I will come, if only to avoid you paying the price for your stupidity. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'll meet you at the North Gate in the evening. No offense to our new friend. I'm not sure this Egon will come in person. I'd be surprised if he'd bother moving just to lecture a small fry in his business.
Ah, oh, there you are. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. We have a meeting next to the quarry. As we are early, we should be the first to arrive. Perfect. I'll hide until they get here. He will certainly not come alone. I beg you, don't wait to intervene if things go wrong. Be confident. I won't abandon you. You should get in position. You'll be here soon.